Pearl and likely the focus will be the top side over towards this B site. Massive player in a way coming on through as well. Be a clean at one versus one. A lot of kills going both sides though here, Chef. So the Paranoid did swing in, coming from X to the BCJ. Turns into 2v2 now. This will just be Thwaifo, the last man standing for Exit. Low HP is Caboose. Maybe just the one shot away. Thwaifo goes at the ready. And would have to find out where the last two members of MV are at the moment. They know nothing is being made. That has been walled up. Could be Vince, So At this point in time, Thwaifo has no idea if MV have actually rotated towards A. Camera is going to check so far. No one in heaven. And Thwaifo is getting a bit cold feet. Not too sure what's <laughs> happening on the map. It's a weird situation because you would feel like with the numbers, Envy would get a little bit more aggressive. They are going to start to make their play. Thwaifo is in a great position. One shot will be all it takes to take down Caboose. Does he recognize the second challenger? Well, now he sure will. The spy cam comes out. A little back and forth but fair here, but it's FNS to find the kill, and that will lead towards Envy's pistol round win. Pretty strong. Three players on the site, two lingering over safely towards a ramps and that will be first blood fns up top able to find himself a couple looking for a third oh, as bcj to find even trades so now an opportunity for a couple of the weapons to get picked up although again how do you get into the site is still the problem here for xset and bcj will likely have to just take this up and likely try to back away but crashies will not allow him the opportunity and envy takes the expected second round i think be for free as well as we yeah. start to look towards alt timings Everyone's kind of close. You got a lot of six out of sevens on MV, and now Food has the showstopper available. Uh, food, I mean, again, just talking about his transition to be onto the raise. This is new compared to the last instance of challengers, and it's finding him a lot of success. Paranoia. Gonna be met with some paint shells. Food able to find another three kills in the round. He does drop those, so X set have turned things into Toss a 2v3. Weeded's in a pretty decent position to maybe find some value out of the shorty, but no, Mummy responds with just the nick of time, leaving things just down to BCJ in a 1v3, and he is stuck in elbow. Mummy finds the easy follow-up. That'll be four rounds for Envy and shows Stuff, and that's going to be the res as well. If Aaron goes down, this could be a lot of advantage on the round for exit gone straight away. 5v4, and the hit comes through. HL's trying to get there to try to stall. This food is up top. Able to find a nice headshot onto one. It's the reload. Spike can be planted. 13 seconds of the clock. Plenty of time to get this down. Caboose successfully gets the spiked in. Waifo, though, finds an elimination. 2v2, we go. And this is a retake that is not going to need to clear a lot of space because you're already out of the site. DCJ, first one forward. Clears the long angle, but Caboose's timing is incredible. Gets in the backside of the dark cover. Knows he just has to watch over towards the backside of the pillar. And he's going to win the first elimination. Not get the second, necessarily. Waifo was able to go one for one. I had his... Their retake has been very poorly managed so far. That has to change. You, you need to take this round away. And they're in a really problematic position. The spy cam will see Mummy, but he deals with that without much cause for a concern. Now it's down to Aaron. He tries to move forward. BCJ was checking things out with the front of the shadows. Not going to really be able to see too much. Crashes, finds first blood. Dwaifo also drops. And now the last two members for Xset are in the back corner. And I think my reaction is the same as yours, your Avril. Likely going to be done and dusted and indeed the case. 7-0 up is Envy. They managed to be able to collect that orb. Now, do we challenge versus Pura again? Yeah, we do. And that's going to be maybe a potential mistake coming through from Envy as they give that kill away. And now the 5v4 foul by Exit, maybe for the first time so far in this half. And can Exit actually confirm a bit more? We did now knows there's a lot of pressure potentially coming through on B main as well. So this is it. Exit to up. Boost. Big roll here. Really needed to find maybe not, not just one, but also a second. BCJ, Aaron. Able to find more eliminations. It's just down to Mummy with the Operator. Not going to get the flick shot. BCJ puts him down. And Exit finally going to come through any moment now. Still a 4v4 into play. Late rotations coming through from the rest of the squad. Viper's pit obviously gone as Weeded makes a long rotation all the way back over towards Ramp and over onto Vents. Will be the rest of the Exit squad trying to make their way into heaven. Finesse will be waiting around the corner. First point of contact has to be a successful one for Exit, no matter where it comes from. Cannot go into this break retake attempt in a 3v4, in my mind. Especially with an operator in the hands of Pure. Two players through. FNS finds first blood. Pure get caught, and that's what you're worried about. BCJ has to make a special play happen as he goes to the toxic screen. He has found one kill so far. Needs to clear out the elbow. It's going to instead just dart cover. Toggle. See if Stick. he can maybe bait out, but he doesn't have the time here. What exactly is going on on an A tower? Ooh. The boost is going to commit to the from the shadows, trying to block this rotation through the defensive spawn. And I don't think he's recognized that he's right in between two different sets of players. Well, now he has. He gets one kill. Food is able to grab two onto the site, and that will be enough.
for Caboose to try to play off a of paranoia. He does get shut down, but the spike gets blighted, and there's a 4v2 situation for Eki. I was going to say, maybe even Flawless coming on through as well. And, you know, they won't get the Flawless anymore. In fact, they're even challenging for the kills. They're so confident. And they got... It's not going to take a lot of rounds here as well. Again, 11 to 1. Massive lead coming through from Envy. It would really require exit quite a bit of a miracle. I mean, they could extend to try and make this map take a bit longer, but already you're starting to see Envy, Food, Mummy, three kills come on, and exit are down to two now, just one. We did alone isn't going to get it done, and Envy pick of how this match has gone. I, I kind of just want to get your thoughts over this transition from Envy bringing food down to the playing lately and our envy have had a little bit of back and forth in terms of what their roles actually are as the round does proceed over here as expected as well just a bunch of kills coming through from envy you're not even really worth covering here i don't think alan is you're just gonna see the 13 11 or 13 1 i had an extra one there for exit which they're not gonna get this round are they all this entire map and for envy as well moving food off the stage i think it's just allowed him to get a lot more work done similar to i think moving aaron off maybe a central role back towards something they can work with Aaron on a duelist would be even better i would maybe suggest for x reach over towards cypher it's not quite enough we're actually deep into the round already heavy aggression coming through defensively and multiple trades low Last hp and standing. it's already down to a 2v1 oh, and mummy is actually able to find two he was caught mid reload as he went down b long but unfortunately for x and a number of their players were also a bit uh, underneath what they would have loved to have had ammunition wise so it's going to be down to white phone trying to make his way back forward and he's got to collect this spike. And obviously that information is good for any that they have it nearby. Make a bit of noise here as well. This is a doable 1v2 considering the HP Come available for, I believe, Caboose on Envy. As fairly low. In fact, low enough it'll be one shot. Coming down to fin uh, Finesse as well. That's going to be massive information. They will hear the teleport. Converge 2v1 here. Still a trap wire on A. That could be massive. Look at Finesse's intel. Look at the fact that he has a lot of utility available. Well, here comes the hit. Wife already making his way onto site. Yep, he's holding wire. the trap. Yeah, and now you got FNS from the backside. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Little Windy wasn't happy with those shots. Care of. Xset still trying to push forward. Cyber cages and dirt covers making life a bit difficult. Mummy now is in a position to be the next one up to respond to this. Good help from FNS as they're able to find another elimination. Xset completely empty on this hit. Wife from behind. Going to find himself one, and he actually pinches with Aaron. But the problem is the rest of the enemy of rounds in success. So that's going to have to be something that are probably five different offensive rounds didn't success. So it's going to have to likely be a change if they want to try to take down this Envy team looking to play again, like you mentioned, off of these more duelist centric compositions. Dwifo, as he hears a lot of the Envy pressure coming from behind, oh, Fubu just walks forward, but nobody checks Aaron in the corner! Gets himself a double! All the defense. Open up space here for Xset to come out from the shadows, also being used defensively. And that actually is going to allow Mummy to get onto sight here through the elbow. Wifo takes care of Crash. He's going to make life a little bit easier for Rexet as they do stick for a plant. BCJ will make sure the spike goes down successfully. Early paranoia as Mummy wants to make sure he gets onto site sooner rather than later. And he does walk away with one elimination. A lot of damage onto a potential second, but does not get the better of BCJ on the site itself. So it comes down to finesse. And he will be scouted out by the recon bolt. And that will mean the end of his life. Except Towards A. He's considering that there could be someone in shells. Yeah, this is a great Aldrin. This is going to be problematic for Envy. Oh, they do use a curveball to try to clear the space and all oh, food is just gonna be able to line up a couple to run it back with spent just to keep him alive mummy also teleporting to help he finds oh, the huge. wall got a bcj and the defensive collapse again for envy overwhelming x set on the initial engagement and that's crazy as well because envy were put into a really tight pinch there they have to kind of make an aggressive play they're about to be spotted by the outro and food would have been caught for sure and Envy with the back of a teleport coming through from Mummy. They get the spike down. They've confirmed the spike is going to be over towards B. Crashes will still be hanging out over on towards A. If it wasn't for the fact that Thwifo gets the remaining kill into food, this could be a very different round. 2v2 now, less than 30 Aww. seconds to go. And decisions need to be made for exit as they give up B. They'll be walking into Crashes and a trap wire there as well. Crashes could come up big. Massive. Oh, they checked the left though. Or and not. Aaron's double peak is good. He looked left, said, nope. Oh, wait, there's a guy there. Let me just go ahead and change that really quick. So Crashies with a huge role to play comes up completely empty outside of a bit of damage. And it's now down to Food, who has, of course, spent both of his curveballs and his runner back. No armor to play with, just the hot hands. He's right real for a bit of a wall bang. Over the top, gonna find the first. He's gonna get the second as well. The headshot wasn't... Haven't talked about it largely, but he largely only plays Jet. Even on maps that you don't see a lot of jet, which would include Bind, Fethiness, able to find first blood here. Another shock dart coming out, slowing things down. Run it back, it's going to be spent. Actually, is going to take away 
A lot of health from Pure, even though he does find the connection. Her ball's coming out. Nice flash in. Mommy food. Brilliant pinch. No chance for Xset to again. Not just even get this. Be required. Thwaifo in a corner could actually foil some of this aggression from Envy in the middle of the map, which has not been a typical play for them. Paranoia coming out. Neurofeth was also spent, and oh, the blast pack right into Thwaifo's face. He deals with it nicely, though. So for the first time, we've got some hefty numbers here for Xset. Crashies. Able to tie things up for a time, and it makes it now a 3v2 situation as Xset will get this fight planted. I'm sure the jumping shot as well. When I say jumping shot, I mean the Aaron was the guy jumping, and Crashy was the guy taking the shot. Reveals his positioning. Piero will get the swing. Still does end up having one kill being given over to Crashies, though. Makes it somewhat workable for Envy, but not as great as you'd think. Three ultimates for Xset, including Post Plant, Hunter's Fury. Food being revealed by the Recon as well, so that's going to be one player. Exit Noah is kind of in danger. Aaron possibly has an angle as well coming over towards Mummy. Time will start to be running out, and Envy haven't cleared anything. They've now just gotten a kill and deleted. Oh, they do clear out the backside of the container. The problem here is time is becoming a bit of a problem. And even though Mummy does find the elimination, the problem is BCJ is, even if he falls, he's killed off enough time. The elimination is good, though, for Mummy. He gets through the teleporter just... ...did multiple times here. Bind for Exit, likely to go OT, and that's the only option they have. Very early engagement right through the middle of the map. And it will come out in favor of Xset. A lot of the utility from Aaron finding value there. And it will just come down to one. The FNS still full HP with the light armor he purchased at the beginning. We know how deadly this frenzy can be. He's also collected the spike. One player close by and nearly an opportunity PCJ's ghost too. <laughs> I feel like my life flashed before my eyes watching that happen. Pierre's able to find first blood food, just getting aggressive. Shut down as Pierre takes down a double before he eventually drops. The trades will be here, allowing Envy an opportunity to still get this spike planted. But it'll be a 2v3 situation. Xset's defense has fully rotated over. The cyber cage will slow things down just a touch. And it's just going to come down to this timing here between BCJ and Mummy. I think BCJ recognizes that Mummy very well could be here. But it comes down to the timing. Here's the peak. He's able to find one. Does he spam through this dark cover? Oh, Not going to need to. Gets a second. Mummy for three in the round. Just down to a 1v1. Cypher on Cypher action. And FNS is going to get the timing as Thwaifo looks left. Patience from exit from A to B, but not going to be the case. As you noted, a lot of exits still here. And they will get the kill to Caboose. Couple trades, though. Crashes will collect Thwaifo. Plant to come on through as well. Paranoia being thrown into lamps. Exit are running out of members. Crashies, the value just so good on these utility agents. Four kills in the round for him, one of which by the shock dart. Defense is still looking pretty heavy-handed through elbow. But it's going to take a little bit of time to get these other two members from A over to help out for the retake. Yeah, but they are going to be forcing close angles here. This is where the SNGs can actually do some real work for Envy. They get the plant without any casualties themselves. So full 5v5 retake here. On a sphere spent by Crashies early on, like you mentioned, just to kind of fake out on A, and it does work because Exit of a slow rotation that buys more time for Envy. Here comes the Paranoia coming on through, and the rest of Exit now looking for kills if Finesse opens the book. Pure's able to only find one, though. That's the problem. And how about this take from the back looking a little bit more successful? But the problem is there's just too many numbers. The pinch not going to come through successfully. They have all down to zero for the most part. This is, needs to be a huge round for Exit. They're running in. Showstopper connects. That's what you want to see. Ah, uh, but the running back is going to be used immediately. Food's able to find one elimination. That'll also keep the weapon safe. So Exit uses everything that they had. Trying to get an early advantage. Stealing away some weapons. Food has cleared a lot of space. Finesse is backing away. Noticing that the hit is still on the way. Oh, and Pure whips the blade storm. BCJ will punish. But this is a 2v3 situation that both members for Exit uh, are on opposite sides of the map. So Envy will gain the B site for free. Crash. He's every single one of their ultimates in the last two rounds. Oh, no. Pure gets caught a little bit on the hookah. Caboose trying to push forward. Blast pack. He will find one from behind. But Pure does go one for one. Not bad for him to find elimination. But they also know that Aaron is in the back. Mummy just holding a corner, able to find the easy headshot. And now Envy in a 4v3 as they get the spike planted. Yeah, Mummy used from the shadows there as well. I'm not too sure that Aaron knew 100%, but again, Mummy smart plays. Used from the shadows to get over towards Elbow. They have full control now, three versus three. At least Exit have guns. Time will start running out. Thwaifo needs one kill for the Nero Thief. Waiting for a few more allies to get here first as food preps to flash. Doesn't find any kills, and they're going to lose Crashy. So Exit find themselves up by one. Retake is on. The question is, can they deal with the split defense here of Envy's post-plant situation? Sticking. Spike is in a pretty terrible spot. Food will be taken down. 
Uh, pardon, he gets one, but there's no way for him to really challenge. So he'll back away, and Xset will get the defuse in the previous rounds. Now they have the money to keep playing in this game. Vanessa is down to just a spectre. They can put Envy into a situation where Envy have to team no. one <laughs> split. I mean, all the doom and gloom here is self-imposed from Xset, unfortunately. <laughs> Pierre's gonna try to make good on this Aldro. Oh, no, gonna be shut down. Follow up, Caboose. Finesse gets two? Oh, that just can't happen. Envy now with a 5v3 and the attempt for Exet to find a first blood or a 4v4 completely shut down means that someone's gonna have to have a huge round here defensively for Exet. Now we said Exit needs perfection. That play was anything but. Caboose shuts it down, and now Envy about to shut down Exit 5 versus 3. Caboose would have to go down first, and Thwifo can't get anything. I think this is it. Oh, we did in a bit of a troubling position. Paranoid is still trying to sidestep away from the Hunter's Fury. Eventually, the juggling becomes a little bit too much for him to handle. And the last player left alive is BCJ. Recon Bolt already spent. Not 